In Landstar 8, once you've set up a new project and you've got all your settings correct, if you want to bring in some drawings that you've previously got, um, so DXF files, you can do this in the survey function. So if we then go into map survey, and you can see on your left hand side all of the different settings that we've got. We've got our layers button, which is these three layers that you can see just down on the left hand side. It's one, two, three, four up from the bottom. We can click on that and it will show us our working layers. We've done nothing in this project at the moment, so there's nothing in there. We can click on map files and then we can open up files to bring in. So we're going to tell it that we want a DXF file because that's the file I've got this time around. But if we use the drop down, we can see that there's lots of different file types that you can bring in. So if we then click next and we go to this brings us to our file folders. My files happen to be in the downloads folder, but I'll just show you how to get there. So if you click on internal storage, it will give you all the folders for the device. We can then click download and then we can click on our file that we need. So in this case, it's a 25 meter grid. We then click open and you'll see here that we the file has come in and that we've got a little blue light bulb. We can toggle this layer on and off by hitting that light bulb. So at the moment it's blue, which means it's on. If we do, we toggle on that or we push on that button, uh, it goes white, which means it will be off. We can also bring that back on. If we drag this area to the right hand side, there are other buttons we can look at. So this will tell us the attributes, the fact that it's in meters. Um, this one here will suggest that we, we can have a quick view of it and see what that map looks like. This one allows us to adjust it with control points, etc. cetera. Um, if everything's set up on the project properly, that should be absolutely fine. And finally, you can delete the file. So once we have that loaded in and our light bulb is blue, we can push the back button and we can now see that our CAD file is, or our DXF file is now in the uh, project itself. Um, and we can then reference it, we can mark points on it, we can do whatever we might need to do to um, work to that area and check those various areas, particularly if we need to use it for stakeout or something like that.